basically, I'm just giving a summary over my jobs and how I'm doing it. I woke up in the morning just really inspired about what I'm planning on doing with myself and how anyone can do what I'm doing. And I just wanted to make a video in the moment, you guys. So um, it's basically a stream of consciousness, but I definitely am going to have some more structured videos, especially how to get the jobs and how to do um, XYZ and how to juggle it and time management, things like that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you next one. Check, check, check. I am exhausted, you guys. I got off at I got off at midnight on my fourth job. Um, hopped in the shower. You know, I didn't want to hop in my bed dirty, so you know, I had to clean my booty, clean my balls, and went to sleep. And I ended up oversleeping. So right now I'm at my first job. I'm also clocked in at my second job. My third job, I have to clock in at 12, and um, I got the video game in front of me right here, as you guys can tell. I'm about to, about to play some Gears of War. I enjoy playing this while I'm working. So, um, I was just having a coaching session with one of my supervisors at my other job, but um, it's tough, man. It's, it's, it's kind of tough. I'm not going to lie. You really... I really don't have, I, I still find time to do the things that I need to do, right? So I'll take up some time on my day, do some push-ups. Um, the room is not so clean though because I am sitting here for the majority of the time. My chair, I spent a thousand on this damn chair so that my back doesn't hurt anymore. It's like perfect, man. It's perfect, you guys. And, um, it's, uh, it's, it's, really, it's really cool. It's really crazy. I'm not going to be doing four jobs forever. I'm actually probably going to cut two of them. I'm about, I'm about to cut one because I just don't want to do it. We're doing some AT&T shit, man. I don't know, like doing that. I haven't been on the phones for a month. But I've been still collecting the payment. I'm still collecting the money. And this other job is one of my main jobs that I've been having. I've been getting $20 an hour plus overtime. So you know that. Mm -mm -mm. And uh, I was working for a mortgage company. Or am working for a mortgage company. They want us to go back into the office in 21 days. So... I've kind of lost motivation to even do anything with them, just being quite honest. I spent so much of my time and my energy really wanting to like move up with the ranks and it was uh especially during the COVID situation during 2020, um and, and shit throughout all of 2021, I was expecting to be a loan officer. They put me into a different position and I had to put matters in my own hands. You guys didn't want me to make all that money, so you know, um, gotta be quite honest though. Um, Caliber's pretty good. They've they've treated me fairly well. I did not like how they just took my pipeline from me. I worked to sell all these people. They took it all from me, gave it to other people, all that hard work, and then um, just gave me twenty dollars an hour, which is not bad, but uh, you know, whatever. Got my NMLS license, so it was real easy what I'm doing with them. I'm gonna have to make a spreadsheet and shit. Let me show you guys. I'm not gonna show any um, sensitive information, but essentially this is what I do every day. I just they just send me a list, and um, I just look at the confirm the numbers, and that's what I do every day. You know, I'm supposed to give them calls and things like that, but I'm, I don't give them calls. I, I just don't because a lot of the people, a lot of the loan officers are handling it themselves. So what I am doing is just clerical work. So it's easy twenty dollars. I, I do about eleven hours, eleven to twelve hours a day for caliber. So um, anything after eight hours is overtime. So I'm getting about four hours of overtime every day. Really good. Missed that job because they want to go back to the office. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, and then. So I told you about AT&T, and so now the the job I'm on right now, you guys, it's a roadside assistance uh, for a company. I'm not going to tell you the company, or I'll probably tell you the company on my Patreon, but uh, do roadside assistance. So people get their car broken down, need a tow, need a battery jump, need a lockout service or something like that. You know, call it the USAA, State Farm, Progressive, we do it all. I do it all. Um, and I'm helping you guys, helping people out on the road. So if you uh stuck on the road, you're probably going to get someone like me or me. Um, and uh, I can tell you a lot about crazy ass cars, you guys. Cars that I see the most that are broken down the side of the road that people dealt with. 
and I'm gonna avoid all those fucking cars because I do not want to get the service that we give. <laughs> just saying, just saying. I do not want to be stuck on the road, and so I'm gonna say you guys the cars that I never see broken down. Okay. Um. So that's that, you guys. Um. And a caliber. So yeah, I do. I work with people with helping them refinance their loans. I. Um, I'm also um, is it? Caliber is the, the That's like that The name that we give The actions that we do You know kind of like a platform You know if you got to work on it anyways So like I, I help people with their loans Their refinances I collect their documents Social security cards, licenses, W-2s The 10, 10 uh, 14s You know I, I, get, I get all of those things uh, W-2s, W-4s, um, uh, VA loans, um, FHA case number assignments. I go into their documents and I work with the processors as well as loan officers and do things with that. Um, good, you know, whatever. And then my last job, the fourth job, I work from 3 p.m. to 12 uh, to midnight is, uh, oh, yeah, I didn't think it would tell you the hours. I'll tell you the hours. Um, but the, the fourth job is um, I'm doing some, some contract work with Epic Games. Um, where they have a they they own the clubhouse app now. I think they bought it, and so um, I do content moderation for the clubhouse app that Epic Games owns. And also, we're going to start moderating the creative worlds that people do. Uh, really cool, really cool stuff. And let's take a look now. Shifts and how I do this all. So my roadside assistance job, I I get up personally at four thirty every morning. Um. Like 4:30, 4:45, and I log in. Uh, but the shift hours are 5 a.m. to 11:30 a.m. Not bad. Uh, caliber, um, or when I'm doing something for my mortgage company, is um, 7:50, 8 o'clock to about 7 p.m. Got this uh, AT&T job. That's about 12, uh, 12 like in the afternoon to 9 p.m. and then my fourth job is 3 p.m. to midnight so um yeah i try to get some sleep to be honest um this is actually the second day of me doing all four of these jobs at the same time and man it's kicking my booty kicking my booty so what i plan on doing is i'm trying to get my fourth job and switch those hours to run concurrently with uh roadside assistance here so yeah if I can do that that'll be great that'll be so great but um you guys yeah um I'll make it so I but I only do part-time with the roadside assistance job Monday uh, Sunday to Wednesday and then so that means that I have Thursday Friday and Saturday off which gives me a lot of time. So you think about it, you guys are making really good money, but I still have time to like do the things that I want to. I just have to really put that effort in in the beginning of the week. So Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I get to go to the gym. The times that I would usually be working here, I go to the gym. So I get that done, knocked out of the day, or I'll go do some other stuff. I'll read some books or something, get some real shit done out the day. Um, but the other three jobs are Monday through Friday. The fourth, the fourth job is actually Sunday through Thursday, so I'm also going to be off on Friday and Saturday with the fourth job. So, uh, yeah, I don't work any jobs on Saturday. I leave at least one day open, so it's really, really, really cool, you guys. Really, really dope stuff. Um, I hope this can inspire somebody to 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 get it going because here's here's a, here's the deal, man. I I pay five hundred dollars a month for child support, right? That's been something that I've I've been court mandated to pay for about two years now and um i was i was only supposed to pay 365 at first which is still a lot but especially at the time i was a server you know i got put on child support and you know so it's been it's been tough you guys i'm not i'm not gonna tell you that i'm not, like like 500 dollars a month is a fucking lot that's half a rent that's half a that's a car note a great car car note like and i i, I have to pay that and it's it's so hard like People don't care about men having to pay their shit. Like, you gotta think about this shit, you guys. Like, 
me and the woman, I've known her for maybe a month, and she said she got pregnant. And I don't know what you guys are thinking. Oh, well, what the fuck? You Here's the deal. We both agreed to have sex. We both mutually wanted to have sex. She decided to have a baby. There's a completely difference. Like, you, she chose to do that shit. And I told her I was going to help to not do that. I was not trying to get in that situation regardless as in me man being in my position nobody gives a fuck about my story nobody gives a fuck about it but the truth is there's a lot of men out here living like this she's eating off that money she only has to do one or two jobs maybe you know she's getting 500 dollars a month which to some people isn't a lot that's a fucking lot what are you talking about 500 a month for for having a kid are you serious the fuck that's a lot of money that's coming out of me so i i had no other i have to thug it out i'm not gonna sell drugs i you know i i don't i'm too afraid to go to jail let's just be honest like i've been to jail too many times for court shit for like traffic shit spit and and then all my warrants like caught up some stuff i spent a week in jail a one fucking week that shit was hell one fucking week you guys <laughs> it's just crazy I, you know, I don't even think it was a full week. No, I don't even think it was a full week. I got promoted at one of my jobs. Went to go celebrate with one of my lady friends. Got fucking pulled over. Got sent to jail. Right after the interview. Right after the interview. They told me I got the job. I got. I had the interview. Got out of jail. And they said I got promoted. Like, it was, it was, it was just terrible. I was in the jail with my loafers. Fucking slacks. Nice ass white tee. Like sitting in the hotel cell then they put me to the fucking jail cell like yo this shit was ridiculous but fucking ridiculous man I never, like that's why i can't sell drugs because we're gonna have to do some real real serious time if you if you get caught some shit so my only other option was to go into this route you know like i want to do the entrepreneurship but i don't know how honestly i'm just be real so i'm gonna have to get it the corporate way until i can make enough money in the entrepreneurship route that I can satisfy my cost of living. Because as it stands, you know, it's it's kind of tough. But uh, I hope this inspires somebody, man. I hope this, in, this inspires you to at least make you think a little bit different. This is the reason why, like, you know, people, people, you can do it, you know. I've been wanting to have two jobs, several jobs, and uh, working them so that I can make ends meet. But... When you're working them in office, you got to think about the time you spend commuting. You got to think about the time you're gonna, you are gonna you need to sleep. You're going to be tired. I don't want to drive tired on the road. Hell no. I've, I've done that before. I fell asleep on the road and hit two people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because working hard as fuck and not getting sleep. But you can do that when you're working from home, you guys. So this is the new wave, man. This is, this is the new wave for people who... I don't know what I would be able to do if it wasn't for this COVID shit. Uh, real shit. Real shit, you guys. Um, I hope this doesn't go too viral. I hope it don't get viral at all. I wanted to keep it in the same little niche area because this is some this is some like insider stuff, insider knowledge that you know, I, I wanna I wanna keep it to the people that rock with me and I wanna give it to the people that, you know, really struggle and need help. You know what I'm saying? And um vibe with me vibe vibe with the vibe with the the movement man vibe vibe with it but anyways you guys i'm out man i'm gonna I'm just post this out here y'all take care man um it, look room messy because nigga working I'm working check it